So we know that EVs right now, the biggest part or the biggest expense on those vehicles happen to be the batteries. But what if there is an alternative to lithium batteries? We're going to get into that today. And I'm going to say this now that short term, I'm still on lithium batteries, but long term, what could I be looking at? Well, it's going to be solid state batteries. And the reason why this really caught my attention is because on a live stream yesterday, someone brought up to me a Toyota story about a solid state battery, it caught my attention. I said, man, I want to do a deeper dive and that's what I'm doing right here. Lithium versus solid state. Let's go down on the lithium side. It's, you know, lithium metal, it uses thionyl uh, chloride and manganese oxide. It uses a heavy lithium electrolyte. That's what makes it so heavy. But it is suitable for longer term applications, five to 20 years. Lithium ion batteries dominate the consumer electronics. Again, short term, I do like lithium. It's the here, it's the now and what's moving, especially in the EV space. But we use it in mobile phones, tablets and laptops. It's got a high density, long usage, but we do have supply issues when it comes down to lithium. Um, growing usage in EVs, and it does have some drawbacks. Have you seen some of the cars that are EV cars, especially when it gets too hot or too cold? Water and electricity don't match up together, so there are some drawbacks. And right now, with the advance of lithium, could it be at its limitations? Let's go to the other side. Solid state. The shift to solid state batteries, because listen, instead of having the heavy lithium electrolyte, it comes in different forms. Uh, glass, ceramic, and other materials, lighter and compact. So that could be a huge advantage when it comes down to EVs. Lithium ion batteries have been the same since the 1990s, uses different materials, uh, solid state does like polymer, oxide, and sulfide. It's designed, listen to this, to leapfrog the present capabilities that lithium ion batteries have moving from a liquid electrolyte to a solid state seems a safer move and these batteries are smaller ah here's the other side of it it's more expensive and that is a drawback as I can put this all together the race is on with EV sales rocketing the need for high density Long life and low cost batteries means the competitive landscape for solid state batteries is becoming crowded. Now, that's great news for the research and development of these batteries since that's what's needed to get solid state batteries onto the market quickly. At this point in time, several materials and designs are being explored and showing significant progress. With small cells already proving the higher capabilities needed from solid state batteries, it's only a matter of time before the manufacturing process fall into place for larger batteries as well. Several companies have suggested that we'll see these batteries on the market within the next few years. Once manufacturing catches up, just like liquid electrolyte uh, lithium ion batteries, technological innovations will push us further. This means that we're likely to see tweaking of materials and design approaches that will push battery capabilities forward for years to come. All right. So when I talk about this, I say that I'm still short term on lithium. I still like the play, especially because the EV demand is growing. But could this be the next big thing? All right. Let's go into my news stories that I have on them as well. And this is the story that prompted me to even think about doing this video. Toyota reveals a solid state EV battery with 745 mile range and it cuts emissions by 39%. Um, if you saw yesterday on Trending Thursday, I talked about this, but this video is getting deeper into that whole solid state space. Now, couple of stocks that I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you three stocks in this space for you to pay attention to right now. Wait a minute. It doesn't mean that I want you to go out and buy these stocks right now. This is an emerging space. I think that long term, it's going to have some great upside potential, but it's still in R&D and people are going to start trickling these out. So first company is QuantumScape. Building the best battery, QuantumScape is on a mission to transform energy storage with a solid state lithium. Notice that lithium is still being used in these batteries. All right, so keeping that in mind, my next stock is Solid Power. 
SLDP, all solid state battery cell technology. Uh, as we go down high energy, safer by removing the reactive and volatile liquid that's in found in lithium ion batteries and gel components. Longer life as a result withstanding performance, uh, performing in extremely hot temperatures. That is a problem currently for lithium batteries, whether it's extreme hot or extreme cold. And here's the cost savings part. We expect a 15 to 35% cost advantage over existing lithium ion at the pack level. Another company that I want you to keep your eye on is Albemarle, ticker symbol ALB. Uh, this is primarily a lithium battery company that is venturing out into the solid state space. All right. So those are my three companies. Those were their three websites. Let's talk a little bit more about uh, solid state batteries. What you need to know, this was a great little story talks about what lithium ion batteries are. It talks about how solid state batteries are different. And the big thing is they do away with the heavy liquid electrolyte that lives inside the lithium ion batteries, which is going to be huge. Because if you look at a vehicle, if you look at an EV, the heaviest part of the car is the battery. And it happens to be the most expensive part of the car as well. Now, interesting. Liquid electrolytes can cause problems. Solid state batteries also promise to be safer and more durable over the long run. And as we're looking to get into a reliable vehicle, those are things that we need. We want durability and we want safety. When damaged or otherwise compromised, lithium ion batteries can experience what is known as thermal runaway, which happens when one of the battery cells increase in temperature causes a similar reaction in the other battery cells. Sometimes this process halts itself inside the battery pack, but other times the runaway reaction can cause a fire. So remember I talked about on the lithium side, there was some drawbacks. The, li the lithium, sorry, liquid electrolyte can be flammable, making the battery's fires extremely dangerous and toxic. Now, here's the other part of the story, which was interesting. Where are all the solid state batteries? Why aren't we all driving cars with solid state batteries? The story sounds really good that we should be in all solid state battery cars, just like other emerging technologies. And that's the key word here. Solid state batteries are expensive. Now, the EV batteries, the lithium batteries were expensive, but they're getting less expensive over time. Why? Because as we get more people into the space doing research and development, it will then eventually draw down price. The same thing is probably going to happen with these as well, which is partly to development costs, but is also heavily related to the fact that they are hard to manufacture on a large scale. Automakers and battery manufacturers also have more work to do before solid state batteries are ready for prime time. Despite their benefits over liquids, solid electrolytes present difficulties in finding the right balance of materials to deliver enough juice to power an electric motor for a car. So there's a lot of people out there that are telling me, yeah, solid state is the way to go. It may be long term. My idea, my hope here is to have these stocks on your radar so that when the time comes before they take off, these are possible opportunities. So let me show you the watch list of the stocks that I have. Albemarle, of course, Toyota Motors, because it seems like they are the first ones that are out there in this space talking about it. Uh, QuantumScape and Solid Power. Now, keep in mind, as we talked about yesterday in a live stream for Trending Thursday, the market's not prime for the for these stocks to go up right now. Number one, number two, that this is still an emerging space. These are stocks that I want you to have on your radar as more development and research goes into these uh, solid state batteries. Again, I am not ready to tell you to go and buy them yet. The only stock on the list that's fundamentally sound is Albemarle. It's got a relative value and relative safety both above one. None of the CIs are above one yet. These stocks are not running. But RT tells me that they're at least in an uptrend right now. One stock does have a VST at or above one. That's QuantumScape. If we look over these companies, not altogether making money yet with the exception of Albemarle. Albemarle seems to be the best stock overall in the list to keep your eyes on right now. The other ones, this is probably going to turn around as far as negative earnings as the uh, the research on these stocks develop. I don't even want to look at stocks, uh, look at the graphs. The graphs are probably going to be bad and that's fine. 
This is a video about an alternative to lithium. Could this be the next big thing? And hopefully folks, I'm at least introducing you to an industry or um, uh, a stock or stocks to keep your eyes on before they explode. That's our job. We do the work, you reap the rewards. Folks, if you like this video, do not forget to hit the like button. If you're brand new to the channel and was worth it for you to be here, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. If you'd like to have an opportunity to take advantage of uh, getting this software, 99 cents gives you this analysis. 99 cents for 30 days gets you the analysis that I just did on these stocks. As you can see, only one stock is undervalued. Actually, two. SLDP is undervalued by a little bit. I'm going to call that fairly valued, but Albemarle, another one is under. I really like this play, even though it's down today. Fundamentally sound in an uptrend. CI is not there. Good VST and good earnings and good earn. They grow their earnings at a clip of 43%. Keep your eyes on the prize. With that, folks, this video is over. And until the next time, see ya. Hey, VV Nation, did you know that there are seven deadly sins that could keep you from consistently making money in the market? If you would like to know more about those sins and if you are falling victim to any of them, he goes right now to www.vectorvest.com forward slash YT seven sins to get your free report. You don't want to miss out on this. So do that right now.